Here we are with Jonas. Jonas, are you enjoying your weekend up Wembley? Yeah. What have you been buying? Well, I've been buying a scarf. A flag. A scarf? Flag. Oh, show us your flag. Yeah. Your flag out. Yeah. Jonas, before the flag gets out, what's the score going to be today? Um, 4-1. 4-1 or something, yeah. really? Yeah. No, 5-1. 5-1. Five, 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 is Will Grigg going to score five, five goals? No, no he's going to score. Right. For McGeady's hat-trick. Hat-trick for McGeady. John McLaughlin's going to score a goal kick. The biggest question I want to say is your dad been staying sober off the drink all weekend. No! I had a few yesterday. <laughs> Not too many. Oh, What's the score going to be? 2 1 to Sunderland. 2 1 to Sunderland. Who's going to score? McGee and Greg. Oh, is your Wembley way oh, going at the moment? I, I, I love that hat, Wimsy. It's amazing. Right, yeah, Look at this flag. Down, Get the flag in. I forgot to say, Greg. He's going to score too. This way. It's your dad being cutting your hair. Turn down all the way. What does that say? Turn down. <laughs> oh, SAFC on the back of your head, yeah. that's amazing, isn't it? Your dad didn't cut it. Your dad never, oh. Dad didn't cut it. No. Right, I'm here with two fans today, two Sunderland fans, Lauren and Nathan. Are you enjoying your date at Wembley so we'll far? Right, we are. Yeah, are you ready for a drink? I'm absolutely sweating for a drink. What's the score going to be today? 2-1 the lads. 2-1 the lads, all right, oh, oh, get in. 9-1. Who's your favourite players? Will Grigg. Will Grigg? I like Luke O'Neill, like. Luke O'Neill, he's classic, isn't he? You're weird here. So are we getting down to the then? Supporters bus, comrades. Hon comrades, Horton Hon comrades. 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 We've all been on the Horton Comrades supporters bus. Any drinks so far? Few, cheap. A few? Cheap, 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 Greg. Greg? Don't My favourite, eh? Both scores are good, eh? Yeah. So Will Griggs going to be on fire, eh? He's on fire. <laughs> Will! How are you? I'm here with a Sunderland fan, JP from Malta. Hello, everyone. What's good the score going to be today, uh, JP? 1 0. Will Grigg was sn snatching at the end. Oh, brilliant. Definitely. 100%. How long are you over here for? Uh, four days. Four days? Four days, yeah. Four days. Excellent. Uh, Whereabouts are you staying? Uh, uh, I was staying at a friend's house in Croydon. Oh, Croydon are you enjoying yeah. the talk? Oh, loving it. Loving it. How are you? How long have you been a Sunderland fan? Um, 13 years now. 13 years? 13 years Absolutely yeah. brilliant. <laughs> So a 1 0 victory, I'll take any oh, victory to do. You're fantastic. Come on, the lads. lads. Go on, the lads. <laughs> Top Maltese fan. Yeah. Yeah, come on, I am in the M. <laughs> I'm here today with three lifelong fans Keena, we all know, Nev and Moochie. Are you right. enjoying your day so far? Aye, aye, aye. Is it going to get a bit warmer than this? I no. hope so. No. No. <laughs> Just the atmosphere. Stop yeah. predictions, Keena. Yeah, we're we'll waiting after extra time. Nev? Two now. Two now is going to score. Greg, have you travelled down on the day or not? Aye, this morning. This morning, eh? Aye. Are you tired? No. Not yet. <laughs> few, few more pints, eh? Few, few more. Pains, oh, then, Moosey, what's the score going to be? 2 0. 2 0 to Sunderland and. Cut them all the first goal. Cut them all. The thing we all want to see, though, before the match starts, is Kino's juggy. You're going to do the juggy, Kino. You're going to do the juggy. On your marks, get set, go! And they're coming over the first fence, it's Keno in front! Go on Keno lad, go on lad! Come on! I don't really start again, get the flag down. Right. Hey. <laughs> on your mark! <laughs> on your mark! Get set! Go! Go on Jonas lad, you can beat Keno, Keno's an old man! And Jonas is going! <laughs> Three more Sunderland fans here, what's your names? Liam? Liam? Callum? Yeah. Are we going to win today? Yeah. 100% guaranteed win today. What's the score going to be? 2 1. 2 1? 3 0. 3 0. And who's your favourite player who's going to score? Um, Will Grigg. Will Grigg? Will Grigg? Because Will Grigg is on! Fire! Louder, Will Grigg's on! Fire! Come on! <laughs> I made a deal with a bunch of young Sunderland fans. What's on your name? Start from the Dan, end. Dan! Alex! What's your name? Alex? Dan. Dan. Alex. Alex. Jack. Jack. Niall. Niall. Are you all enjoying your day so far? Yeah. yeah. I love the tattoos. Are they real tattoos? Yeah. Get in. How much they cost you? Um, One million. Can I? One million pounds? Oh, that's a bit cheap, isn't it? <laughs> What's the score's going to be the day then? Five nil Sunderland. Five nil. Two one. Two one. Two one. One nil Sunderland. Lee Cannon's going to score. Lee Cannon's going to score. 
Yeah. One nil. Two one. Who's your favourite player? Adam Gady. Shout really loud. Adam Gady. Adam Gady. You're gonna win the day. Yeah. Yes. yes. Come on, the lads. <laughs> Nathan just popped the question. <laughs> And Phil, oh, all right. Did you enjoy your night at Trafalgar Square last oh, night? It was unbelievable. Yeah, what was it like? Unbelievable, mad, absolutely. Thousands of fans. Electric. Thousands electric. of fans. Oh my God! Flares everywhere. People ran out of beer. Couldn't get any beer anywhere. You got sold out. Sold out everywhere. Oh, brilliant. Sold out Thousands everywhere. Thousands of Sunderland fans. Oh, fantastic. No trouble whatsoever. Did you have a late night then? We did have a late night. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, we did have a late night. Brilliant. Absolutely. Let's start it again now. A few more drinks now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's the score going to be the deal, lads? I think we might just do them about 3-1. 3-1? 2-1. 2-1. So long yeah, yeah. as we win, that's all that matters. That's all that counts. counts. Who's going to be the goal scorers? Uh, well... I think McGeady might score. Yeah, yeah, McGeady. yeah, yeah. yeah. McGeady. yeah. McGeady. yeah. yeah. I think so. Yeah. So, who's the most vital player to give a summons, in your opinion? Is the one or the few? Cut them all. Cut them all. Griggs, Ledbetter, and McGeady. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd say they're this yeah. well, the goalkeeper, obviously. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah, He's had yeah. a good season, hasn't he? Fantastic. Well, nice to meet you, lads, and I hope right. you enjoy the rest Thank of the day. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm here with two Portsmouth fans today. Yeah. What's your name? Tolly and. What's the score going to be? Close two one, we're gonna win. We'll be next to time, eh? Who do you think? I think two one to Sunderland. Big brace. What's the score gonna be? Two all penalties. Two all penalties. Oh, we do one penalties next to time. Alright, enjoy your day. Nice to meet you. Two great sets of fans. Two great sets of fans. Nice one. Right, I made a deal with some Sunderland fans. Stuff me. What's your name? Kyle Marley. Oliver Dyer. Oliver. Liam. Liam. Justin. Justin. Defty. Defty. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, come on. Where you all from? See you. See you. See you. See you, lads. Yeah. What's the score going to be the day, mate? Two nil. Two nil. Two nil. Hundred percent confident. Three one. Three one. Who's your favourite player? Um, Aidan McGeady. Aidan McGeady. Is McGeady going to score the day? Yes. Come on, the lads. He's going to score any. Come on. Come on. Aye. Yeah. Who's your favourite YouTuber? You. Oh, right, awesome. See you. <laughs> Alright, Oliver Scott. Right, I'm here to deal with Oliver and Bailey Foster. Bailey Foster. What's the score going to be today, lads? I think it's 2 0. I think it's going to be a difficult game. But, difficult game, two yeah. good sets of fans, two good sets of players. Yeah. Really uh, two good football inside. So, yeah. Difficult game, eh? So, yeah. Alright, thank you. And we are the top! And we are mad! We are the loyalist football supporters! Oh, the is in the hat. We are the soul that's all that bird, boys. I made a deal with Sammy Quinn. <laughs> Sammy Quinn, I heard you enjoy my channel. Absolutely fantastic, mate. And Neil, you've got to subscribe to this fella. It's absolutely brilliant. So you appreciate my vlogs, Neil? Oh, brilliant, mate. Absolutely fantastic. Five cents all the time. Thank you very much. Are you enjoying your day so far? Oh, loving it. Look at this, man. You can't get any better. When did it, when did it come down? Did it on the players' bus. How many of those have you had? Just one. Just, just one. one. Just 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 one. Just
anybody who scores the winner. <laughs> Come on! Johnny. 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 Johnny you can't see with the horse. Anymore. I'm here today with Johnny Parker, and straight from the horse's mouth, what's the score going to be? 4-2 to the lad! 4-2 to the lad! Come on, the lad! Oh, and yeah. we're coming down to the final furlong! <laughs> nice one! I'm here today with my good friend Carl. He helps me on Mad Mac on this page. Absolutely fantastic Sunderland fan. Carl, what's the score prediction going to be today? 3-1. Uh, 3-1. Three, one. Three, three, one. Three, three to us and one to them. Who's going to score? Uh, McGee, is McGeady score? McGeady, yes. McGeady. 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 Griggs. So is this your first time to Wembley, Carl? Yeah, my first time here. Absolutely overwhelmed by it. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant. Beautiful atmosphere. How was your journey down? Uh, Canny. Canny? Well, I had a brilliant journey down. I took I took a little funny turn on the way down, but I set it up. <laughs> You're all right there. And um, I'm, I'm all right with pumped up by the game and all that. So, Carl, tell us a bit about yourself. I know you're a loyal Sunderland fan, but you've had you've had some bad times. But so, tell us a bit about yourself in history. Yeah, um, I'm Carl. I'm originally from I'm originally from Easton Colliery, but I now live in Chilton. And you looking at us, you wouldn't think how how like I'm t I'm terminally ill. I've been ill since I was six years old, and I just turned thirty a couple of weeks ago. I was offered help as a kid off a millionaire, but my parents chased him away. Oh, right. Called him worse than crap. Yeah. And wouldn't accept his money or anything. It was better if I so died. You've been terminally ill since you were six years old. I don't I don't know what the illness is, because my parents refused to give us. To go down to wherever the hospital was to get so I could get the full diagnosis. Right. So most of my life I've just been suffering and putting up with this. So you're 30 year old now? And I'm 30 year old now. I can't believe I've got to 30. Absolutely that, that's amazing. An that's an achievement. Absolutely. Oh, it is absolutely fantastic. It's, it, it puts everything else in perspective. Absolutely brilliant. So can you get to many matches or not? Yeah, it, it all depends on my health. I'm very lucky. My me, me uncle Eddie helped us to sort this ticket out for us. The yeah, I just wouldn't have come. That's not all the time he helps 100%. So you've got, a, you've got obviously good good, good family, good relationships with like, your uncle Eddie. You can take you to matches. Yeah. How many matches have you been to this, this season? I've, I've been to the Bradford game at, Chris, at Christmas. Yes. A boxing day, wasn't it? Christmas, same thing, same as that. Yeah. And were you only supposed to, um, sorry, you weren't supposed to live after you're 10 year old, were you? Yeah, well, yeah. I got, my, my parents got told off the doctor. I, wasn't, I wouldn't live past 10 years old. And, and Sunderland's your life. Yeah, Sunderland's one of my biggest passions. Sunderland running me allotment, and obviously I'm in the scout in the scouts as well. I'm a, I'm a troop assistant. Absolutely amazing bloke. 100% Sunderland. He lives for Sunderland Football Club. Absolutely fantastic. He's been through. He's had some really hard times, but the days when he highlighted it. Yeah, this one's definitely on me. Now, this is something I can see. I've knocked off my bucket list. Absolutely amazing. I mean, you contacted me through my YouTube channel yeah. and through Facebook and you said how much you enjoy my channel because you love watching my vlogs because you can't get the matches. Yeah, yeah, Terry, yeah, Terry's vlogs gives us a really close connection to the matches and, so, and stuff like that. If it wasn't for like the pages are running, Mad Mackums and stuff, I wouldn't have a strong Sunderland band with, 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 with the club and everything. Absolutely amazing bloke with an amazing story. Carl, he's been through the run of the mill, he's had hard times but he's here at Wembley He's having a good day, having a good weekend. He's feeling good this weekend. And I, I wish you all the best for the future, Carl. Yeah, four, four times this four times this year already I nearly died. Just fucking on one time a month. In in my entire lifetime, it's over two, 200 times. Last year I had pneumonia, which totally cock messed up my immune system, which led on to us having toxic mold poisoning, which led on to us having chronic bronchitis, which led on to us having numerous chest infections. And I still feel the damage after the ammonia now in my lungs. I've got to take it so careful when I'm doing stuff. I'm not allowed to overwork myself, or it could cause a major flare up. And, and I could, it could set off, set off my terminal illness, which I could really die. It's absolutely amazing. Absolutely, absolutely amazing to hear you now with isn't it, really? Oh, yeah. This is, I've been, I didn't even know I was coming till my uncle, surpri uncle surprised us with the ticket and everything. What an uncle, uncle Eddie, yeah? Yeah, absolutely uncle amazing. Eddie. Well, Carl. I met you. I met you on Facebook a few years ago. You're one of my good friends. It helps me loads with the channel, man. Absolutely brilliant, Edin. Great bloke. I wish you all the best for the future. I love and the I channel. Hope, I hope we win today. Yeah, I, do. I, hope, I hope we win. So are you, Carl? Yeah. Nice to meet you, mate. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Have a good day. Yeah. And, I'll follow, and I wish you all the best in the future. Yeah. I'll forward Terry on me pictures and also me GoFundMe link, and hopefully the Sunderland fans will get behind us and. Donate and all that, and hopefully that millionaire that's out there that wanted to help us as a kid, we can hopefully track so him down. So where can the donate? I've got a GoFundMe page, but I'll, I'll send Terry the link. A go. So we go GoFundMe page, and hopefully all the Sunderland 
lads and lads and every other football fan around the country, you know, get involved and help, help us knocking some stuff off, off my bucket list, which would mean the This world guy is. needs people's help. He really died 200 times in his lifetime. Absolutely amazing story. It puts everything else in perspective. Absolutely fantastic. Sunderland fan here today. I hope Sunderland can win for Carl alone. Absolutely brilliant, Carl. It's been lovely to meet you. Oh, I wish you all the best in the future. And hopefully, you can keep my page going because you're doing yeah. a fantastic job, Carl. Yeah, and I love running the Man Mackham's page. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much. How's the day been so far? Yeah, it's been great. It's been around London yesterday, so it was great. Great night to go to Shrewsbury Square. Aye, aye, yeah, it's just great scenes, bit, aye, great scenes. Brilliant, eh? So what's the score going to be today, Jay? 2-1, and it's going to be McGeady and Gooch. Do you enjoy your videos? Do you enjoy the vlogs? I do, I, I aye. have uh, been watching them since, I think it was the one with the referee, Harewood. Right, I've been yeah. watching him since right. then. Love, appreciate it. Love, love the uh, rant on mind, it was correct. He's Excellent. absolutely oh, right. definitely I, right. Well, I hope we do win 2-1, because I'll fuck 2-1, 9-1. Exactly. Come on, another hand. Go on, go on. As this lad says, we need another one. Otherwise, yeah, if you sit back, these will these will make lives of Absolutely brilliant possession. We've had about three, four free kicks. We've had them all over the park. It's the final third, the last cap, the last shot wasn't good enough. It's on McGeady's free kick. Was here and McGeady's doing what? Running down the line for you! Voila! Top fan from Sweden watching Come on! Come here, new swear I'm done then! Two fans from Sweden! Are you enjoying the game so far? Oh, it's fucking brilliant. Oh, 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 oh. What, a, what a free kick! What a free oh, kick! I didn't see it, man. I didn't see it. Oh, no. Watch the end of one. Watch the end of one. That's going to be fantastic. Are we going to win? Are we going to win? What a weekend. What's the of final course. score going to be? 3-0. 3-0? Oh, three nil. yes. Come on. Go on. 3 nil. Yes. Come on. Come on. How are you, How are you, man? From Sweden. Yeah. Right, I'm here with Morgan and Kano. It's finished Sunderland 2, Portsmouth 2, but Portsmouth have won on penalties after Catamore missed the second penalty and Portsmouth scored all five of theirs. 
Thoughts, Morgan? Honestly, I'm absolutely gutted. I mean, McLaugh <laughs> McLaughlin could have saved one of the penalties, but he slipped under him, and then obviously cut him all. Obviously, had his penalty saved, and in my opinion, I reckon we were quite lucky to get the penalties because obviously our second goal in extra time took a deflection off one of the defenders and they spilled it into the net. So honestly, I think the loss is quite fair, but honestly, it's just hard. What was your thoughts on the first half? But first half, we were absolutely dominating. We we were the dominant side, but second half, Portsmouth just came back at us, and in extra time, I, I don't know. What, what did Sunderland do wrong, or did the Sunderland, or did Portsmouth just lift their game? I think Portsmouth just lifted their game. Like then again, we started playing a bit poorly, so kind of a mix of both, really. How do you feel? I'm I'm absolutely gutted. First trip to Wembley and. Obviously we've lost, so I'm obviously really, really gutted, but... Now a long journey home, eh? <laughs> Aye. Can you know thoughts on the match, son? I'm quite gutted as well, to be honest, especially when we scored later on to take it into uh, penalties. But Where did we go wrong, Can you know? I don't know whether we uh, sat back or whether we got pushed back. We've got to give credit to Portsmouth, I mean, they played pretty OK, to say the least. I couldn't understand the Will Griggs substitution unless unless he wasn't fit, but when they took him off, just got a feeling he wasn't, otherwise it was a very negative substitution, but... Well, we live to fight another day, let's hope uh, we're not coming back down here to play Portsmouth in the playoff final. <laughs> let's hope we'll get second place, we'll win our games in hand and just somehow find the strength to get second place and overtake Barnsley. I uh, just keep the faith, that's all you can do, on it. Hey, thanks, one. Oh, yeah. no, on the bus with the Horn Comrade lads, Black all and lasses as Black well. All. Black all How are you feeling after the day's result? Absolutely Sick as fuck. Gutted. What's your name? Jack. Jack. Are you absolutely good at it? Absolutely good, mate. Where did it go wrong? Um, Cat Moore's fucking penalty. Oh, sit down, lad. Sit down. See your face. Cat Moore's penalty. Aye, well, well, before aye. that, where did it go wrong? Uh, second half. Second half. Shambles. Absolute fucking shambles. We battered them in the first half. I know, aye. Second half, fucking shambles. So why did we sit back second half? Fucking poor quality of football. Very, very poor quality We should have more than one up front at stages as well. Right, I know, aye. So, what? Hey, I've watched them lose before and I'll watch them lose again. I mean, there's, goes uh, on. there's nobody more oh, sick as me. I'm sick as fuck, mate. I'm depressed as fuck. Shit, shit. Spend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a few words to say. Oh, I'll say a few words. What's your name? Harry. Oh, yeah. What was the opinion on the match then? Shit. Apart, was the first half good or wasn't it? First half. Oh, yeah. Right. Where, where, where? I mean, yeah. possibly a poo in the first half, weren't they? Shit. Right. Absolutely garbage. But the second half, we had the comeback sat, sat back, or they came out firing all cylinders. Their, their manager must have been kicking up the ass at half time. Right. Some, some great half time shout out. Talk. So, what did our manager do? Fucking nasty. Just sit and, right. sit and defend the whole right. of the time. Stop. You know? We should have gone for the second goal. Shit. It is. I hope Greg was injured because we shouldn't have took him off, really, should we? Nah. 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 So, what do, what, do, what do we do now then? How, how are they going to bounce back after this? Well. Fuck it's going to go again. 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 So, who's your favourite player than you still? Um, I don't know. I like Catmull. I like Honeyman. Uh, no, I like Honeyman a lot. He's a good player. Why did Catmull take the second penalty? Where was Honeyman? Where was fucking. I know, right? Why? 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 You're striker. Why isn't the striker take the penalty? Skill. I know, he's actually a skill boy, yeah. Yeah, if, you're, if you're a striker, you want to take a penalty? Well, of course, yeah. I tell you. Yeah. That's you've got to want to take them, haven't you? Exactly, right? right? You know what I mean? You've got to, you've got to, put your you've got to have your forward. heart in them, haven't you? You've got to have your right. heart in them, haven't you? I mean, look. Cut them all, Mickey Gray. They had the balls to step up the team. That's the thing. I mean, Mickey Gray waited at the very end. I mean, how many penalties was there? Can you feel? Cut them all. Took the second penalty when yeah. the people out there, like Wake, who actually proven goal, like proven goal scorers in the past. Uh, but people who are strikers who want to score goals, yeah. they should be taking eating penalties. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's got no bottle there whatsoever. And Honeyman should be taking a penalty in the first five as well. She needs a captain. Well, should. You know? <coughs> anyway, probably would have done a better job than Cadamore. But Cadamore shouldn't have done that. No, you can see she's going to place it, wouldn't you? She'll just batter in the back then, she's on the centre. I know. Anyway, straight down the middle. Alright, right. I'll see, see you later. later. Right, Ben, it's midnight. You're not knackered. I'm absolutely shattered, mate. What's your thoughts on the day's performance? Wait, the first half we were all right, but after that we were fucking awful. Alright. Second half, wasn't it? terrible, absolutely terrible. Where did it go wrong? When he fucking, I think 
we, we played bad the second half, but then as soon as he took Grig off, it was just it all went to shit. Aye. We, we were lucky to even take the penalties. Aye. I agree, aye. Why aye. can't we not finish off a team? I know. I don't aye. know, maybe, maybe, it's something, maybe it's something to do with the manager. Aye. Aye. Is it too, too defensive second half? Aye, aye, definitely. I don't, I don't think he's very well put we, we got the lead, aye. we got the lead, and then fucking... Do you think he's trying to get promoted with a team of, like, sort of... They're not fantastic players. But do you want a player? Yeah. Aye. Aye. So aye. some of them more are heart than actual aye. Aye. Some of them are better than the league, but some of them are probably over the top. Yeah, aye. Past the best. Aye, aye. And he's trying to get like a, a shoestring squad of players together to get promoted to the championship before he buy some better players. Yeah. Aye. So it doesn't I don't think he believes in his squad that he can play like a 4-4-2. Nah, nah, nah. So nah, who's nah. your favourite player then? Uh, Aaron McGee, Aaron McGee, Aaron McGee. He was easily the best player to do. Oh, definitely. I played very well. Very well. Two goals and a penalty. You can't ask for more, can you? Can't ask for any more than that. I mean, that free kick was fantastic. Oh, it was lovely. I just caught it and all. Went the toilet, the slide, a quick tab in. What was your thoughts on the penalties? And wait, they were good, weren't they? We fucking we only missed one. We were unlucky in the end. I mean, one of them I saw the fucking the pot. Unlucky not to save it. Aye, Park, I think the, it was the second or third. Under the keeper, wasn't it? Aye. Because I thought he saved it at first. Aye. So, you when's the next match? Uh, next home match. Wait on Saturday. Yeah. Coventry, you know? have to start winning these matches and aye, get promoted. Aye, aye, Can't be coming back to Wimbledon again, nah, can we? Nah, we're, gonna have to go, we're gonna have to go up for yeah. automatic. So, you're still behind Jack Russell and the team, are you? Oh, aye, aye. Nice one. Nice one, nice one. 110% nice. behind Jack Russell and the team. Aye. Next one, mate. Well, I've just gotten in and I'm absolutely knackered. It is now quarter to one. I've been out the house for 23 hours and it's been an absolutely devastating day. I'm absolutely gutted. From a first half where we absolutely dominated, and I mean dominated the first half, we absolutely dominated the first half against Portsmouth. Portsmouth offered nothing, nothing whatsoever to come out in the second half and to defend, try and defend for 45 minutes. It was either an absolutely fantastic, superior management, half-time team talk from Kenny Jacket that rose his team up to take this from Sunderland's grasp. Or Sunderland just sat back and expected to win 1-0, which wasn't good enough. Because Portsmouth came out in the second half, and it was a game of two halves. They absolutely battered us. I mean, absolutely battered us. We were clueless in the second half. And I did at one point think we were going to last on with eight minutes to go. To snatch, just to hang on to a one nil victory. But the amount of chances Portsmouth had, they were going to score. And not just that, I want to say a couple of things about the referee. In the first half, Curtis, Rowan Curtis, got the yellow card, and then he seized, scythed down George Honeyman, and nothing was given. That should have been a sending off for me, but Curtis, in the second half, Jagger took him off, and he brought on, I think it was Gareth Evans. And then also, for whatever reason, the referee decided to give everything to Portsmouth in the second half as the game went on. I mean, it was one point, Luke 9 was being dragged down by the scruff of the neck to the ground. And the Portsmouth gave a, a free kick to Portsmouth. The referee gave a free kick to Portsmouth. When he dragged him down, the Portsmouth player dragged down Luke 9 to the ground. And Portsmouth got the free kick. And then the Portsmouth man, another occasion, was running with the ball. Our player wasn't within five yards. He fell over his own feet. And Portsmouth got a free kick. I don't want to give any excuses. Portsmouth were the better side from the 46th minute onwards. Then it came to penalties. And for the life of me, I don't know why the Captain Moore takes the second penalty. It's not his fault. I'm not blaming the Captain Moore. It was the team performance in the second half that threw away the victory that we gained in the first half. But where was Charlie Wyke? Where was George Honeyman? Wyke is a striker. If you're a striker, you should insist on taking a penalty. 
They can't have all that. I don't know how many penalties he's taken in his lifetime. It can't be that many. But surely a striker must demand to take a penalty. If Will Grigg was still in the park, which again, was he injured? Why was he taken off? He would have scored a penalty. He would have demanded to score a penalty. So why did White not demand to take the penalty? Absolute bizarre decision. It's raw. I'm sick as fuck. I am absolutely good at 85,000 fans there today were absolutely amazing. The Portsmouth fans were fantastic. The Sunderland fans were amazing. Absolutely amazing. But we haven't won at Wembley since 73. And we lost on penalties again. And I'm absolutely heartbroken. To say the least. Absolutely good at I met some absolutely fantastic Sunderland fans down there. Everybody, brilliant Sunderland fans. And a big, you know what, I want to say it. A big thanks to the Sunderland fans on the, on the Horden Comrades bus. Absolutely fantastic fans. They're absolutely mental. Great, great banter there and back. Absolutely brilliant. And... You know, it's quite a one. I'm absolutely fucked. I haven't been to sleep for God knows how long. I think I had about two hours sleep on Saturday night. And I've had an out since. So, and like I say, it hurts. And by the way, that pie, pie at Wembley. I wasn't going to do a vlog on the pie, but it was £4.50 for the pie. And it was absolutely disgusting. It was like dog meat. Absolutely. It's horrible. Horrible pie. Don't ever buy the pie from Wembley, steak and ale pie, it is absolutely rotten to the core. They need to put their ideas up on the pie, it's disgusting. But for fuck's sake man, Sunderland, why are we not killing off games in the first half? We absolutely battered Portsmouth, I mean Portsmouth didn't, I don't even think had got into our penalty box in the first half. It should have been game over. But like I said, at half time the two Swedish Sunderland fans... Like Bon Jovi said. <coughs> We're only halfway there. And we are living on a prayer. And now it's time to go. Right, I'll see you whenever the next match is. Probably at Witten Stanley on Wednesday night. We have to bounce back. The Sunderland players have to find something from this today. Something. Something after Jack Ross. <sighs> All of the fans are still 100% behind the team. Roll on Wednesday, we have to beat Aquaman Stanley, and I'll catch you then because I'm fucked. <laughs>